Ladies and gentlemen, I have here the Samsung Galaxy A52. Now this is the regular Samsung Galaxy A52. This is not the A52 5G. Especially you can see that because it says for Africa and most African countries are still on 4G. We don't have 5G. So this is a Samsung Galaxy A52 and this version is the 6 gig RAM 128 gig storage variant and I bought it in Ghana for about 1889 Ghana CD. So that translates anywhere from 320 to 350 US dollars. And this variant I got is the awesome purple color. This phone comes in awesome white, awesome black, awesome blue, and awesome purple. Now, I believe the black, the white, the blues are very common. So I went for the purple variant. And so when you open the box, you get the phone itself. It says Samsung Galaxy A52. It also says Infinity O display quad camera 64 megapixel with ois wow that's super impressive ois means optical image stabilization and then it also has ip67 water and dust resistance so this is the successor to last year samsung galaxy a51 and already looking at just these three features this is very impressive specs for a mid-range device at 320 to 350 dollars for a 6 gig and 128 gigs of storage now the back purple looks really nice it's nicer than what is actually displayed on the box so the box lacks you know that saturation but the phone itself looks really good with the camera bump arranged in that iconic layout and so let's take off the wrapper from the phone Let's enjoy some bit of ASMR. Okay, so this is the phone. The back is made of plastic, but the front is made of glass, and this is Gorilla Glass 5. So it has added scratch and drop protection and the back being made of glass also means that if the phone falls down like valor has been doing to his phones it's not going to crack the back and all that you know you still have a very solid phone and it's not going to attract a lot of fingerprint sensors on the right hand side of the phone we have the power button and we have the volume control buttons at the bottom of the device we have a USB-C port we have a, a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack we have a microphone and then we have a speaker now on the right hand side of the device we have nothing and at the top we have where you would insert your sim tray we have another microphone in fact two microphones and on the screen you can see it has a whole punch camera cutout and it also comes with a plastic um, screen protector already installed so let's set the phone aside and look at what else comes in the box of the samsung galaxy a52 so also in the box we have surprise surprise a charger now this charger happens to be one of the smallest i've seen in recent times because most phones nowadays come with very big chargers so this is not a 33 watts um, fast charging adapter this is a 25 watts fast charging adapter and it's capable of charging this phone's um, battery from zero to 50 percent in about 30 minutes now the battery of this phone is a 4500 milliampere battery capacity so it's not bad for the price and then laying that aside, we also have a USB-C cable to power your phone. There is absolutely no earpiece. In fact, there's no manuals. Finally, a phone which doesn't come with manuals. I'm super impressed. So for not adding manuals, this phone is a five out of five. Just for not adding manuals. So okay, guys, so I just noticed I really goofed when I was doing my unboxing. Apparently, the paperwork and the envelope were stuck in the upper part of the box, and I didn't notice. So, um, we have the SIM tray, you know, eject tool. And I noticed because I, I, I was trying to put my SIM card in it and I couldn't find this thing. So, I turned the box over and then I realized it was right here. So, when you open this envelope, apparently it comes with a clear plastic case as well 
and you also get your quick start guide your warranty card and something else let's put this aside and then let's turn on the phone and see what it comes with now this phone comes with a snapdragon 720g processor which like you know is a 4g processor and it's not really the most powerful 4g mid-range processor because phones like the poco x3 nfc i have here comes with a snapdragon 732g processor which is faster than that of the samsung galaxy a52 but then the poco doesn't have optical image stabilization and some of the perks and features that the samsung galaxy a52 has so let's put the poco x3 nfc aside and focus on the samsung galaxy a52 now um, i'm 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 really liking the back the, the the back feels really nice to the touch it feels really really good you need to hold it to experience it and apart from that whereas most mid-range devices come with a side mounted fingerprint sensor this phone has an in display fingerprint sensor so you know samsung is giving you the very best now you can see it has a bit of a bezel at the bottom and at the top you can see the whole punch camera cutout and as compared to again the poco x3 nfc because that's what i have the bezels are like roughly the same size but this is a super AMOLED display. So it has a lot going for it. So we are going to quickly set up this phone and then, you know, test out the cameras and all that. Okay, so we are all set up and this is the interface of the device. This comes with One UI 3.0 and it also comes running Android 11 straight out of the box. So storage, it shows we have 25.3 gig out of 128 gig automatically used before you even start installing any apps and then we have six gigs of ram so everything checks out um, the brightness is pretty high as you can see and it can go even way higher so this phone goes all the way to 800 nits of brightness so let's do a quick camera test and see how the camera on the Samsung Galaxy A52 looks. You see, it's looking for more modes. All right, so um, we have our fruit juice here. So we have some fruit juice, and let's see. Okay, so from right from the onset, like you can see, even the background, the blue background I have here looks way more saturated on the samsung galaxy a52 than it is in real life because this is a pale blue but the samsung galaxy a52 shows a very deep saturated blue i don't know if that's what you want but i think it's a bit too much hopefully we can edit that in post so this is what it looks like on the main this is what the ultra wide looks like you can see that it begins to look detailed. The picture begins to break about, apart. This is what the main looks like, pretty well lighted. And then this is two times telephoto, looks good as well. You can go four times, and you can even go 10 times. You can even go 10 times. You can go four times. You can go two times. And you can go the normal one. And of course, you have the ultra wide. And so that's for the 64 megapixel main shooter. On the selfie front, this is my handsome face. Mm. My, my shirt I'm wearing looks way blue. Like everything is super saturated over here. And mm, I'm a handsome guy anyway, so yeah, we move. Okay, so this is what so on the camera front we have fun we have single take we have photo we have video this is for the selfie camera and on the back we have video we have photo we have single take we have fun mode which i'm going to you know explore more in my full review so if you haven't yet subscribed kindly subscribe turn on all notifications so you do not miss the full episode so these are the accessories you get with the samsung galaxy 
A52. If you are new to my channel, I do mobile phone reviews, mobile app reviews, and I bring to you affordable gadget reviews to help you make an informed decision when you are making your next purchase. So if you like that kind of content, please click on the subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you do not miss any episode. So you also can have dark mode. So you can turn it dark mode. And you, you could see that it took some time for it to respond. And this phone comes with a 90 hertz super AMOLED display. Okay, so it's a 90 hertz refresh rate. So when we go into the display, we can go into, where are you? We can go into motion smoothness. And when you go into motion smoothness, you have high, so you get smoother animations and scrolling with a 90 hertz screen refresh rate, or you can put it on the standard. So if you put it on standard and you apply, this is how it looks like. But then if you put it on high, then everything is supposed to like be faster. I don't know. What would you like to see in my full review of this device let me know in the comments below thanks baby are you listening damn